Hey everyone, Stefan Schoenfelder, Dakota Ironworks. Uh, just having some issues with my generator once again. Um, you know, I had the rheostat replace that. Um, anyways, ends up that it's the armature uh, or the rotor inside the generator, this piece here. It's a really simple test on how to check that if you just take your voltmeter set it to ohms and go from slip ring to slip ring so you can see 2.6 so you can do this with the generator with the motor and the generator in the welder itself um, super simple test here's the brand new one and that one is 16.6. Um, the range is supposed to be from 14 to 17. So that's perfect. Uh, you can see on this one, the old one, there's a lot of discoloration in here and around here. As opposed to that one. I had taken that piece off because I had planned to send this one out to be rewound. Um, then I just opted to go with a new one through Miller. Uh, it's a pricey part, thirteen, fourteen hundred bucks, depending on where you go. Now, I'm not going to do a video on pulling the motor and generator out <clears throat> and pulling it apart. There's a gentleman uh, who goes by Inline Six CTD. That's Inline the number six Charlie Tango Delta. He's got a great informative video on how to pull the motor and generator out and how to separate the, gen the generator uh, and then separate the armature from the generator. The only things that I did different was I just color coded my wires with the uh, colored zip ties, put the corresponding ones over here. And then also he pulled the head off and stuffed the cylinder full of nylon rope to keep the motor from spinning while he was unscrewing the armature. Um, I didn't have to do that. He had a bad cylinder, which I didn't. So I just made a little tool here. Pretty simple piece of flat bar with some holes and a recess and a handle. And when you pull the plastic cover off, you'll see there's a couple holes here and this guy just lines up and I bolted that in there and had a buddy stand on it while I twisted it and didn't have any issues um, so that's how to test it and you know just reverse uh, inline 6 CTD's video to put everything back together and hopefully I'll have a good news video here when this is all done thanks for watching